Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where it's time what? What? No I'm not I'm not gonna dance with the bolus. <laughs> Caden's right here. Anyway, time to go get off this stinking flying political bureaucracy. I will never understand why they don't just let us fast travel immediately to our ship. Like, to the dock. Instead, you gotta go in here. It doesn't even, like, what if you forget? What if you come back to the game after a long time? A Solarian excavation team has run into We've an already talked about that. Problem oh, after skip. Unearthing a Prothean skip. Skip. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming sure that artifacts you, you, There we go. Okay. Um... Oh wait, am I? Yeah, I'm supposed to be my ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Anderson's gonna go do his thing. But I'm here. I'm ready. I'm raring to go. I'm surprised they even let us on the ship, Stand honestly. By, shore party. But I guess it's like they don't really have like they'd have to house us <laughs> if they didn't, you know. Oh, this is so fun. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send <laughs> I love Joker's like unconscious movement with his hands, you know? It's very like real. We out! Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Joker lives for this, honestly. Joker stole the Normandy and flew it on its real like uh, like I don't know. <sighs> virgin flight, I guess. I don't know how you say it. But, um, he stole it. Himself. So this is just, he's just an old hand at this. There's a comic about it. Where he steals it. To prove he's the best pilot. And that he should be the one piloting it. And for people to stop, like, being like, oh, he's got a disability. You know, it's, he's like, I can do this better than you can. Don't look down on me. <laughs> you know? So... They never, I don't know if they ever, they might mention it a little bit in the game at some point. I don't think they do, but yeah, it's it's always funny. Oh damn it, no sign of pursuit? I was hoping the council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide and seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like <laughs> much fun when you say it, Commander. <laughs> So you need something? I have to go. Uh, <laughs> He's like, you're just a Debbie Downer. I don't like you. <laughs> yeah, there would be the perfect time for him to be like, yo, remember that time I stole the Normandy to prove I could fly her better than anybody else? This is a good comic. I highly recommend the new Omnibus uh, one. Well, it came out like... I think late 2019, early 2020. I sh I don't know if we're gonna get anything different. Anything you need, Commander? Mm. Just trying to get a sense I've wasted of it. enough mm. your time for now. Okay, bye. We'll talk later. I'd like that. We almost made out right here. See, this is where you can. Oh, uh, cool. Thanks. Oh no, never mind. Is this not? Where is Shepherd's? This is where Shepherd's is. In two? It's not in my room, is it? My very plain room? I swear it was over there. That's confusing. Maybe, it, maybe it's downstairs now. Maybe they changed it in the Legendary Edition because it was a little bit weird. That Shepherds was off by herself. Up here, you know, and then everyone else is downstairs whenever you're like you're like, okay, I'm trying to do everyone's like stuff, like on ship. And then like all the equipment, and then you gotta like run up to yours, either first or last, you know. Okay. Actually. So I know we're like you know, we gotta get we gotta get to Ilos. But what we're actually gonna do is everything else. 
Because now is the time. Because Ilos is the a final planet. When you're on Ilos, you basically start the end of the game. So now is the time for me to do all of these. Um, unfortunately, we are almost done. Uh, unfortunately, we are not really done with this or that. The Solarian stuff always takes the longest. We are almost done with the Prothean, with the Sari, and the Turian emblems. Uh, but we're going to do the Geth incursions because that is for... Um, what's her name? Um, Tally. Um, and I am going to do the valuable minerals. So, um, if you're here for the exciting first part of the video, I appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, what I'm probably going to be doing from now on is we're going to do the Geth incursion first. And then once I get that done, I am going to be streamlining me running around getting the rest of these because there are missions on planets that we haven't done yet. I definitely want to do this specifically the Prothean Artifact mission um, that we haven't found yet. There's also a um, another Rachni, like a small Rachni outpost that we find. Like we find like this like alliance outpost that's being overrun by by Rachni, by the old version of Rachni, like the ones that, that were being experimented on by Saren. Um. But I usually find those as I'm running around trying to get minerals. So, but for now, we will do this. We did, I think we did the Gagarin one. I could be wrong. The Armstrong cluster. So, buckle up, kids. It's time for the last minute. Oh, we definitely did all this before things got hectic because Shepard would not be doing this now. <laughs> we would have done this earlier. Um. Armstrong is Hung Babshi. Oh, I don't know which one we did. I'm gonna just guess we did good Garen, but I could be totally wrong. It's okay, when we, when we land on the planet, we'll know if we've been there or not. Makes it dangerous, hang on. Gotta scan. The map will be filled out if, we, uh, if we've been there. A medallion! <gasps> After some daring maneuvering by Joker, a small team was able to recover some of the items. Freaking final. Is there anything? No, okay. Survey! Heavy metal. Oh, dang. Okay, cool. I love all of like little sciencey blurbs that they include, you know, where they're like, I've, I've said it a million times when I play this game, but like, somebody had a really good time looking up, like, astronomy stuff for this game, you know what I mean? Or maybe multiple somebodies, to like, have this like detailed of information that for the most part seems pretty spot on for like how, you know, planets would operate. Ooh, the nitrogen makes it glow purple. Oh no, right. Heavy metal. The temperature difference between the sun red hot pole and the dark side cold pole. It's a good thing our planet rotates, you know what I'm saying? These, these like, not tidally locked, but like, uh, what do they call it? Sun locked? Oh, it is tidally locked. Okay, it's tidally locked. Yeah. Would be, it would suck, apparently. Significantly removed from the rest of the system and with unstable elliptical orbits, they may be formed within 3 AU of the binary stars and were hurled outwards. Oh, there's someone yelling in the hallway. It'll be ejected in a few hundred thousand years. This thing is too close to the sun. I guess it's not really habitable. 
you can land on it, but it's not really habitable. Ashley, no. I do need to bring Caden out to use Neural Shock, I think. But in the end, I will be bringing Tally and Rex out because they're uh, they're the most balanced squad in my opinion. Oh, to be fair, one of the few times I used Ashley this time, she's extremely powerful, especially when you're not a soldier yourself. Um, what's up his first aid? Actually, there we go. Maybe put one into stasis. One into throw. I'm after the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Anomaly. Now, oh, there is. So, um, someday I do want to romance. Well, okay. So, someday I want to play a male ship. And when I get to Mass Effect 3, I do. Because Mass Effect 3 is the only one where you have canon um, gay romances for Shepard. Oh no, there's a, there's a thing here, 100%. There's a thresher mod here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can sense it, like 90% of the time. Also, to be fair, there this time they even had debris. Anyway, there is, uh, the only time there's a canon like, for men, gay relationship. Um, obviously, you can um, romance Liara as a woman in Mass Effect One. Um, but I think that's more voyeuristic of a lot of the male developers who are like, lesbians are hot, you know what I mean? So. But, I mean, it still counts, obviously. Because y y you can interpret it how you will. Oh my gosh, is this? It is. Is it? No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. It's not. That other planet's different for the actual artifact, I'm pretty sure. Where's the treasure map? Okay. Anyway, um, not even in Mass Effect 2 do you have a, like, just, I almost said a straight gay relationship, <laughs> like I meant, like, just, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but, because I'm trying to think, no, because you can't romance Thane or Jacob as a man. Yeah, so in Mass Effect 3, anyway, there is, you are introduced to a new character, uh, who is a super sweet man, um, and who I only want joy and happiness for, um, and he is, he's gay, and I would love to romance him someday, but what I really want to do, also, is, um, romance Caden, because in Mass Effect 3, Caden finally becomes available, oh my gosh, um, for, oh geez. Um, a male shepherd. Which, I don't know, I really like the idea of it being like this like slow burn romance, you know? I don't know, I find that appealing in, in some ways. Or in a lot of ways, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I know, I'm sure it's problematic in some ways or another, but so is probably everything. But, um,. I don't know, I like the idea that, like, slowly over the years, they've, you know, their friendship evolves. Like that slow burn, you know, their friendship slowly evolves into something more. Which I don't think you can just all of a sudden romance Caden. I actually don't know, like, as a woman, can you, like, have romanced other people in one and two and then all of a sudden decide you want to romance Caden that would be interesting maybe it wouldn't be interesting but it, it could be <laughs> this thing is just unkillable Anyway, I like the idea of like a soft, sweet romance, like a soft, sweet gay romance for for Shepard, you know? I think it would be really sweet. Where's the 
eat greater more. Oh my gosh. I saw my help at the last second. We are so on fire. Can I investigate any? I'm so sorry, dead bodies. Whoa. Where did they go? Oh, it like launched me out over here. Oh, the vehicle and human corpses show the telltale signs of death. Weapons fired. The geth had been mangled by the thresher mob. At least they got what was coming to them. So the geth killed people, and then the thresher mob did, or the thresher mob just didn't care who it ate. That's kind of what I think happened. I love that it's still on fire even when you're not in it. Oh. Oh, this, this is just one where I think where you can pick up a uh, protein artifact. Like, what? Whoa, it's so dope. Prothean data disk. I think we're done now. Yeah. We are done with Prothean stuff, which you can still pick up. If you did not know. Yep, all done with that. Um, how many do we have of these? Oh my gosh. <sighs> anyway, we didn't even get what we came here for yet. Um. Also, we haven't even visited Amaranthine yet. I think that one's way out, though. I'm sure we'll find it. If not, I can look it up. Because it's a pretty one. But this game has so many, well, it's many permutations of romances. I really like it. I like it a lot. I'm just going kind of back on what we were talking about before, but I like it. To be fair, I'm being very predictable this time around. Romancing Caden, then Thane. Um, and not romancing anybody in three. I think you can, um, but. I mean, okay, so technically I am romance- like, the way it is for me is I'm romancing Thane in 3, but that- well, you can. I think- no, you can actually- but it doesn't- I don't think it counts towards any sort of achievement, so that does mean that I will not get the Mass Effect 3 lover's achievement. Securing point. And, I don't know, it made- it made the fact that Shepard ends up being, in some very key moments, very alone. Uh, was very poignant to me that like she had nobody to comfort her in such a time of duress, you know Like to comfort her like a lover or someone that close to you could comfort you, you know Like a shoulder to cry on I don't know and someone who's like more intimate than just a friend I mean you can still have like really good like she obviously like she depends a lot on Garrus because Garrus is a very very good friend by the time Three rolls around like, there's no shepherd without Vicarian but, for me, it's never been in the romantic sense. I always... I always just love Thane. <laughs> He's my true love in Mass Effect. If Caden can just calm the frick down by the time this is a track... Oh, I remember this place now. I thought it was more snowy. I think I have to get out. Do I have to get out? And like trigger it. No, I'm pretty sure this was a trap. Oh, maybe it's over here. Oh, okay, it's over here. That's that's why it's like messing me up, and I can't actually track it because I'm being jammed. I feel like I actually had a hard time finding this one at one point, but I remember now where it is. It's 
See, I am, I'm, I, I'm so used to, I, I'm used to being able to hold back on the joystick and just drive backwards. Is it? I don't know. There you are, hidden. I'm trying. Okay. I'm stuck. Oh, did I already explode? Okay. I was like, I was trying to back up and I couldn't do anything. Big brain, I turned my nose since they're aiming for the nose of my ship, my car. I turned it into this rock walls, that's what they're firing at. I love how, like, their Colossus gets beat. And they're, like, definitely ascending down these guys with, like, no, like, little to no cover is definitely gonna give them a chance to survive. Number two, let's hit the next base. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, yes, I couldn't remember which button to press. So I might prove valuable. I would love to do that. Paleontology, paleoanthropology, paleozenobiology. Oh yeah. We also haven't gone to the monkey planet yet. Passing through the debris trail of a long period come. Also, you're not supposed to land here, but guess what I'm gonna do? Oh, nice. Now we have found all of the Asari writing. No! Oh my gosh. No. Tag, an identification tag for Captain Than. There's no indication of why it was hidden here or in the first place. So that's all the ID tags. Now we just have half the freaking uh, whatever they are. What are they? Medallions. Uh, yeah, we're almost at. We can still find um. Uh, the Asari, like you can basically, there, there's more of these collectibles than you could, that, than you need strictly in the collection sense, um, like to count for it, but they still give you money and stuff when you find them, which is cool.
Oh my gosh, I'm so good. I don't know if this debris is down low or what, but I don't want to go down there unless I have to. go sideways. No, I'm like pressing my controller so hard. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, maybe it is down here. <laughs> oh yeah. That's the Mako for you. Nomad couldn't do that. Cool. Uh, okay. This though, I might not be able to get to this. Oh, I can get out there. I don't know why there's an encampment up there. I think the geth, the geth are elsewhere. But there's like turrets up there. I can see the red, the, the marker on the map. Oh dang. Get the Ray is transmitting regular data bursts on an encrypted channel using the Alliance's own FTL combos. It's not clear where the data is being directed, nor the content of the signal. Turn it off. I can't tell if this is like one of them upside down or what. It's creepy looking, whatever it is. Just the one outpost left. There's one outpost left and there's still guys here. Dang, I can just leave like one lone survivor, like the sole survivor backstory for Shepard. Anyway, that's the last outpost here, anyway. Uh, there's one more. We will go grab that in the next one. And where am I at? So transferring is two more. I'm over halfway on the medals, not by a ton, but by, by a decent amount, so I will be speedrunning that. You guys won't see most of it, but we'll finish up the Geth incursions, and I will run around the galaxy looking for minerals and cool quests that we've left on Undone, so Undone. <laughs> But um, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And now is the part of the video where I say thank you to all my patrons, but to especially uh, my sapling patrons. Reese Scalito, thank you so much. And Scalamonger, thank you as well. I really appreciate you guys' support. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is awesome and who is like an anti-air missile to the Geth incoming ships. I really appreciate that. I, if, this, if that gets really lame, just let me know. Right now, my brain thinks it's amazing to keep making, I don't know what you call it, like puns, Men not puns, metaphors, <laughs> like that. Anyway, thank you all so much for supporting me on Patreon, and thank you to those of you who just support me by watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.